was there for the start of training camp there and is now back home. Welcome home, Jane, and thanks for joining us here on The Insiders. And Mike is back, too. Uh, Jane, we were just discussing uh, Micah Parsons. He was, <laughs> hi, he was uh, matching up against Tyler Guyton, the rookie. How's that looking? Yeah, I would have worn my training camp shirt, guys, but after a week in Oxnard, it's over here getting <laughs> laundry done. So I'll wear them on the next one for you. Uh, so clean clothes for this one. Uh, not a lot of clean jerseys for Micah Parsons. Now, to be fair, Micah Parsons did slip on this drill, but it was entertaining, I think, to some of us to see this rookie, Tyler Guyton, who the Cowboys picked in the first round this year, showing a lot of confidence and consistency in their first day of padded practices. Here, you can check it out right here. You can see Micah Parsons is number 11, right there on the end, the rookie left tackle. Watch this one. And holds his own just fine. We didn't put the one in there where Micah slipped because that was getting uh, quite a bit of traction there on the internet. You know, I caught up with one of the offensive line coaches who works with a lot of guys in the offseason. Brian Baldinger was just down here in Frisco. Duke Mannyweather, he does the offensive line masterminds. And he worked with Tyler Guyton. He said that it was Guyton who called him on Saturday, two days after he got drafted and said, let's get to work. Guyton stuck around the Frisco area, worked out with uh, our guy, Duke Mannyweather. And he told me that, you know, they addressed cleaning up his movement patterns in terms of efficiency, getting his hands in sync. He also said that, you know, this was a guy that just put in the work and you're beginning to see some of that. Like I said, they're really hoping that he can be somebody that steps in there in the absence of Tyron Smith, who in this offseason went to the Jets, replacing a guy like him so hard. But Micah Parsons sat down with us, guys. It was Daniel Jeremiah and myself. And we said, you know, what are you looking for when you go up against Guyton in his first padded practice? And he says, I can't wait to get him in the lion's den. He's going to fill my speed. Well, I think Tyler Guyton also showed him you're going to fill some of the work that I've been working on this offseason. So I think we can feel pretty good about that left tackle position. Again, it's early in camp, but raising a lot of eyebrows, really impressed with some of the reps that we saw out there.